قناة فلذاتنا سبحانك ربي يا رحمن يا من كرمت بني الإنسان وجعلت الأسرة تجمعنا وتقينا من لفح الحرمان إن قام الأب بتربية للروح وأيضا للأبدان وزرع الخير بأبناء وأسس ذياك البنيان فسيحصد من ذلك خيرا وسيهزم أجناد الشيطان ويؤسس بيتا للتقوى ويؤيد من رب منان ويعامل زوجا بالحسنى ويعمر بيتا بالإحسان قناة فلذاتنا ويحفظ للأخت محبة فالأخت كأنفاس الريحان ويشد بكف لأخيه كي يقف في وجه الطوفان أسرتنا يا نعمة ربي يا وردا أزهر في البستان يا قارب خير يحمينا إن عصفت أمواج الخلجان إن عاشت أسرتنا بشرع سنكون معا في بر أمان سنكون معا في بر أمان قناة فلذاتنا I used to love sitting next to him and listening to the conversations he used to have with his patients. One of those conversations changed my life forever and perhaps that's the reason why I'm standing here today. It was about this old lady who was refusing to get urgent, immediate cataract surgery done. And when my dad asked why, she said, I heard your people say I need to rest for one or two weeks, but I wouldn't last one or two weeks. My father said, why? I'm sure you must have some family. He said, wow, what a question you asked. Because I spent my entire, I spent my entire life taking care of my children giving them an education, raising them up, and they are successful today. But guess what? I am a burden for them, and they abandoned me. I am left with no food, no money, and above all, no dignity. For me, as a 12-year-old child, that was a very confusing story. And I'm sure it's for you too, because still 12 years of age, the only stories I heard were the ones with a happy ending. This one didn't have one. Why was the innocent woman suffering in the end? My dad, after that incident, took me out and he said, how was your eye count? The first thing I said, I'm sad for that lady, why is she suffering? And he says, my dear child, for some people, life's challenges are a burden. But for others, they are an opportunity to show what they're made of. For me, that was the first definition of character, straight from the heart. But I still couldn't sleep at night. Why did she suffer? And today, after 18 years as an educator, I realized in our pursuit to build competence, to earn a living in children, we forgot to build character in children. And that's what I do today. I help build character. And it's not just me alone. It's an entire team. But how do you build character without understanding character? Because character means a lot of things. For me, character is the truth beyond our flesh, our true nature. But there are two things we need to know before we start building it. The first one, no one is born with a good or a bad character. Everyone takes responsibility and builds it up. Even if you don't take responsibility, you're still building one up. And the second thing is that character isn't just about being a good human, because character was also what Galileo had when he had to prove to the world that the earth is round. It was character which Manoj Kumar Pandey, the major in the Indian Army had, when he said to his general, I will fight against the order, one is 200, but I will win the Jubar top, which was at the end, the pivotal point of India's Kargil victory. It is to have an undying spirit of completing what you started and an undying spirit to have an inquiry. How do we build children who are both good at heart and successful in life? Isn't that all of us want? Well, that's an interesting question. And let me show the first one to you. The first step is something which all of us know.
but all of us forget. And I want to show it to you by making you do something. So in the next 30 seconds, see what happens. I want all of you to raise your hands out like this. OK? Now it's an activity of focus. So look at me and listen to me well. You will have to give one single clap at the count of three. One, two, three. Fantastic. Let's do this faster. One, two, three. Why did you clap? Because you saw me clap. And that's the thing. What children see in us is much more stronger than what they hear from us. If we want to build character, we'll have to build our own first. Think about it. Haven't you heard parents screaming at children, don't scream? What are we doing? We want our children to be super positive, but we are negative about the government, about the society, about our spouse. You got them. About our in-laws, indirectly you got them. It's all about us. Every child wants to be like their parent because her bachche ke liye uski maa baap uski sabse pehle hero the. But the question is, are you the hero you want your child to be? Are you the hero your child wants to be? Step two: giving experience before wisdom. Let me ask you another question. How many of you have ever taken a swimming course in your life? Raise your hands. Very interesting. Out of all of you, how many of you took a corresponding course in swimming? Can you imagine? OK, the book says, one, find a superbly beautiful tight costume. Step two, go near the water. Step three, jump into the water. Step four, left hand up, right leg back, and paddle. If you feel drowning, keep trying. It wouldn't work. Let me, let me relate it to an analogy. If diamond is this beautiful character which we want in our children, don't give it to them in a box. Let them dig it up. Because the sweat and the tears, the cuts and the bruises, the givens and the give ups, that is what is going to make that character, that diamond, much more worthy. But the temptation all of us have is to tell children, this is right, this is wrong. To do this, you will be successful. If we had the humility to understand that life teaches much better than an individual, we wouldn't have half the problem. Let me give you an example. I am born in a Jain family. And in Jain families, there's a tradition of fasting. And this fasting turns out to be one of the most amazing character building exercises. Because in the first level of fasting, which is abstinence, children are taught, as young as six to seven year olds, to not eat during certain times, after sunset and before sunrise. The second level, they're told not to eat certain types of food. The third level, can you come down from three meals to two meals? The fourth level, can you come down from two meals to one meal? Can you live one entire day without the desire to eat food and focusing on what you want to do? The most amazing thing, children as young as seven, eight year olds have lasted for 15 days with complete energy. But how does this build character? Because it teaches children the mental strength to not give into, te into temptation. Think about the last time you gave into temptation. It builds a certain amount of qualities which says that I can do it. It gives them how you can run behind purpose and you can achieve it. Let me give you another example. The most easiest way for me to actually relate to this is actually when I had to wash vessels. One day I missed my flight and I reached back home with my friend. And we had to make dinner for us. And after the dinner, there were vessels. It's the first time I was actually cleaning vessels. So I walk into my kitchen. I take the vessel. I take a soap bar and I start rubbing on it. And then my friend taps on my shoulder and says, my uncle, I think you need a scrub. I've seen it on TV. And I said, oh, yes. So after 10 minutes of the ordeal, my hands are paining, my legs are paining, my, my, my back is paining. They actually went back and I sat down. I said, I am so grateful I have a mom. And as I sat down reflecting, I realized, now I know why my mom keeps complaining about the, the fact that her hands keep going numb. For 35 years, she did it to me. I didn't understand. In 10 minutes, I understood empathy. And experience teaches much better. But is experience enough? No. An experience without reflection is entertainment. With reflection. And what does reflection mean? Asking the right kind of questions and asking the right amount of questions. When my father asked me, how was my camp? And he asked me, how did I feel? That's when I understood what, what the first lesson of empathy, of compassion, of faith was. Is reflection enough? No. Have you realized children say they had a fantastic class? What did you learn? 
uh, because reflection, unless and until are crystallized, they don't lead to anything. And the third, and my favorite, encouraging action. Think about it. Do we become good? Do we become morally right by thinking good? That's the first step. And this is, there are a hundred ways of doing it. But to put it into action is the most amazing one. And this is one way you could do it. You can call it a value wheel, a character wheel. But the objective is not to make big changes. My guru always told me, our character is not built by drastic changes overnight. It's built by small changes every day. So imagine if you and your family were sitting on the breakfast table and you gave this a swirl and it stopped at, do not blame anyone or anything. For 24 hours, can you live a life without blaming life or without blaming someone else? If you can, you have taken the first step of building character. If you can't, you have still taken the first steps because failure leads to success. The question is, are you ready to take small steps every day? No day. Second day, a new value. Say for example, I will today be punctual in every single thing. I know a lot of us came in late today. But can we follow for 24 hours? What does that teach us? To manage our time. That is also character. 